Hi guys, today I am going to show you how I charge my LiPo packs for the Q500. I don't use the unique charger that came with it because it will only do one pack at a time and it's not the fastest charger in the world. There is a way that you can charge the Q500 batteries on a larger LiPo charger. If you notice the end of your pack, it has the connection on it is actually an EC3 connection and the other is your balance lead connection. You need one of these guys. EC3 plug will actually plug right into the end of the pack. Mine has on an XT60 connection because my parallel charging boards are set up to take the XT60 connections. For the other, all you need is a 3S balance lead extension. And it actually has a female end on one side that will slide into the pack. And now you can see it is ready to plug into a LiPo charger or a parallel board. Pretty simple. I use the iCharger 4010 Duo for most of my charging needs. And when I do two of these, I actually charge them at 12 amps. It's close enough to 1C to what the pack's rated at. I've read that these packs actually have another sticker underneath this that says they're at 62 or 6400 milliamps instead of the 54. But for whatever reason, maybe they were a little bit overrated. Anyway, I charge them at 6 amps each, so that's 12 amps together on a parallel board. You can get more than 5,400 milliamp hours in each pack. I've actually, after running them down, I've gotten an easy 6,200 per pack. So I think it's pretty safe to charge them at a six amp rate. That's still, you know, that's a 1C rate if it was a 6,000 milliamp hour pack. But anyway, it's that simple. Maybe you guys already knew you could do this. I don't know, I just thought I'd share. And now we just wait. Well, there you go. Both packs charged up in under an hour. Hope this helped you guys out. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.